Thank you for that very kind introduction, and thank you so much for inviting me here to this beautiful city. I'm just uh, tremendously honored to be uh, speaking with uh, some of the world's greatest scientists and to be speaking to all of you. I thought uh, tonight I'll try to go over some of the work we've been doing on new biomaterials, but I, I thought since there are many young people in the audience, I might expand a little bit on my, the introduction and go over the question of how did an engineer get involved at all in a medical field. And to start, I thought I'd go back to when I was getting my uh, doctoral degree in the 1970s. And I was getting my degree in chemical engineering. And nearly every one of my classmates in chemical engineering uh, decided to go into the uh, petrol industry to work for oil companies. And so I thought, that's what I should do too. And so I uh, had many interviews uh, with, with these petrol companies. Uh, in fact, I received uh, 20 job offers from uh, different petrol companies. Exxon actually offered me four. In fact, I think the only one that didn't offer me a job was a British Petroleum. <laughs> but one of the job interviews made quite an impression on me. I traveled to Exxon, and while I was there, one of the older engineers said to me, that if I could just increase the yield of one of these petrochemicals by 0.01%, he said that would be wonderful because it would be worth billions of dollars. And I remember flying back home to Boston that day thinking to myself that I really don't want to do this. I started thinking about what I would do then. And one of the things that I was very excited about was chemistry education. I had helped start a school in Cambridge for poor children, um, and I uh, got very involved in creating new chemistry curricula. Uh, 